Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a review on this Nespresso Iced Coffee Vertio Pod. So I'm not sure if this pod's been around a while, but it, I just found out about it. And the way I found out about it, I'm always on the Target website and they had this bundle. And I thought, what is that? That's iced coffee pods. Then they got this little ice cube tray, but I didn't get the bundle, but then I started to do some research and I went ahead and got these iced coffee pods. Look like they have a, two kinds of iced coffee pods. So these are the coffee ones. It's going to brew 7.7 .7 fluid ounces when you put it in the machine, when it reads it. You can definitely tell it's the size of a coffee. So I cut a pot open before I brewed it. It's kind of a fine grind. It's a dark roast. It smells really good. It smells good when it's brewing. Here's what it looks like after it's been brewed. Okay, so I brewed one straight just over ice. Then I added a little bit of milk and vanilla syrup. It tastes really good. So... If you really want a strong iced coffee, these pods work really well. The flavor is a dark, strong roast, and that's what the flavor, the flavor really shines through when I put the milk and the syrup in it. It's, I just can't drink it. It's a really strong, uh, kind of a bitter coffee when it's still black like that. But I was pleasantly surprised when I added a little bit of milk and syrup. It's, it's probably one of the strongest iced coffees I've tasted. So it doesn't really give a strength rating, just says 7.7 .7 fluid ounces. But if we re read the fine print, it does say it's dark roasted specifically for coffee over ice. Okay, so let's brew one. Just put the pod in, it's gonna read the pod. It's gonna figure it out and brew it automatically. Press the button on top. Now you do need a little bit taller glass. Um, the travel mugs worked fine. Because you've got so much ice, it's still gonna brew about eight ounces of coffee into that ice. And that coffee coming out is really hot, so the ice will melt pretty quick. So you can see it ends up being a pretty big drink with all that ice. Okay, so the machine's done brewing. The funnest part of these machines is when they, when the, the pod goes back into the container. Okay, so here we have the iced coffee. Now, again, there is still some ice left. It does melt quite a bit of it. I like to get around 30 degrees, but we're still around 47, 40, it's going down pretty quick. So you might have to add a little more ice. I like to get this down around 40. Okay, so Miss Fiona knows I'm doing a review. Okay, so if you like black iced coffee like this, you can drink it just like this. Again, it's got a really strong taste to it. I do like to add a little bit of milk, actually a lot of milk. I had to take some of that foam away. It does create a lot of foam, but I love to add a little bit of French vanilla syrup. The milk alone doesn't take away the bitterness. It helps a lot, but the sugar is gonna help a lot too. And I call these two dabs. And again, you gotta give this a big uh, stir. So I just tasted it, it tastes absolutely delicious. Um, it's cold, I added just a little bit more ice. I added the French vanilla, the, the milk. It takes away all the bitterness, but it leaves that strong coffee taste to it. And just by adding a few more ice cubes, I have got it down to around 42. It's still pretty refreshing at this level. The outside of the glass is definitely really cold. But I'm starting to be more impressed with these Nespresso pods. I do think they can give a, a maybe just a little bit stronger coffee taste. 
I'm going to do a comparison video, Nespresso versus Keurig, because my sister recently just switched from Keurig to Nespresso. She said she was kind of looking for a little stronger coffee taste, and she really loves the, the Nespresso machines, the, the Virto pods that do, that do the coffee. Now, if you're someone that just likes like a Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee, um, that's a pretty mellow iced coffee compared to this. This is a really strong coffee flavor. So if you don't like that coffee flavor, this may not be the best for you. Because originally I kind of liked the, I, I would brew Dunkin' Donuts cold brew and I would have an iced coffee with that. And that's a very mellow iced coffee, but I'm really starting to like that, that stronger coffee taste. So I've had a lot of viewers tell me when I make iced coffee, I just put normal ice cubes in, but I've had a lot of viewers tell me, hey, um, freeze some coffee. So I recently just froze some cold brew that I made in the refrigerator. I have no idea how it's going to turn out. And then I, I thought, you know, wh why can't you freeze uh, milk and use milk ice cubes? So I'm going to give that a try too. I really appreciate everybody's comments. It's because of comments from people that I didn't know anything about uh, using coffee ice cubes for your iced coffee. So I really appreciate everybody's help. If there's any kind of video you would like to have seen May, uh, just put it in the comments down below. I don't have a link to these glasses, but I do have, I'll put a link to the, in the show description notes for these tumblers. That same amount of liquid fit in this tumbler right here. So these, these, these over iced pods, I really highly rec recommend. Thanks everybody for your support. And if you could, please like and subscribe.